This is the Engelman daisy. Uh, it's just a weed. Actually, it is, but they're just a beautiful little plant in a garden. They, they take care of themselves against a back fence. They would be beautiful. Uh, they're bright and sunny. They're no trouble if they get to be too big or too wide. You just, you know, cut them back to, to manage them, and they self-seeding, and they come up every year. This plant has been in the garden since the beginning in 2000. Another little uh, daisy is the um, hairy aster, and it can kind of get out of control, but if you, you know, just fall around and pull it out, and, and he's very easy, even in this, uh, the heat that we're having now and the dry period that we're going through, they're just happy as they can be. And the yarrow is outstanding in the garden. This little plant is, is a very good plant for the garden, for anybody's garden. It's, it's got interest all year round. Now the seed head, the flower heads are turning a little brown. It's a bright yellow and they're turning brown. They make uh, a nice interest in the garden if you just leave it all year. Or you could cut your seed heads back and you just have an evergreen plant. Okay, this is the chocolate flower. It's a great, hearty, tough, it smells good. And it spreads like crazy if it's given a little water and it looks beautiful with a lot of water. If you don't like the way it looks, it's kind of rangy looking right now in the middle of July, you can cut it back and it'll come up fresh as a daisy again and start standing up. And it smells like chocolate. It's got a great aroma. And a yard full of this is just like going through the Hershey factory. And this is a feather dahlia. This was a, as a native to the uh, Rio Rancho area for sure. The feather dahlia has little purple flowers on it in the spring and this was the plant that was originally here in the garden that we left and when it's in bloom it's just gorgeous it's real dainty it's a little pea plant this is goldenrod and it is an extremely easy plant it stays small it's not ragweed which people you know get it confused with i've had several questions about that uh, it is just an amazing little plant that can fill in an area that's got holes in it. Um, and if it gets too rambly or rambunctious, you can just, oh, you know, whack it back and it'll just bloom again. And this is as tall as it gets. This is a golden fleece. So I think it's a kind of a neat little wild plant. This is a Jupiter's beard, a Centranthus, uh, that just popped up here. They seed readily and uh, we had some in the grape arbor area and this one the birds probably gifted us with the seed okay this is um, an agastache plant this is a great flower it's like the chocolate flower it comes back every year and you can see it it, uh, it dies back completely to the ground in the winter in our area and then it, it comes back this is licorice mint there's different flavors, bubblegum mint, licorice mint, you know, different flavors, different colors, but they're just a wonderfully hardy, disease resistant, drought tolerant plant. They're great to stick in some place where you, you know, want some unexpected color and uh, put them where people can brush against them because they're, they're, they smell good. It's like a lavender, it just surprises you when you brush up against it. And yeah, it's a real friendly plant. It's, one of my favorites. This is a favorite plant, the Caryopteris, the Blue Mist Spirea. It's low water, um, high attractiveness. I think it's a beautiful plant. Plus it can be pruned to fit the area that um, it lives in, in your lawn, in your garden. It's a great fill-in plant. And it'll bloom all summer and the bees love it. This is a purple uh, smoke tree, and they have a very interesting habit. They love heat, but they do need some water. You can see this one's a little bit stressed. This is a really happy looking stem, and it's a little stressed with our water situation right now in the hot summer, but they get, they get tall and lanky, and they put out the little uh, smoky thing, sort of like an Apache plume. And that's why they call them a smoke, because it just looks like little smoke.
clusters on top of their leaves. 